Hey guys, Mark McMahon, Mark McMahon Real Estate, coming at you today talking about the eviction moratorium. It was dropped! So excited. But then I'm so sad because two days later they decided to start it up again. So, in other words, you were able to evict people that weren't paying rent for one day. And now, you can't do it anymore. So I guess if you filed during that one day period between the first and the third, maybe you're in luck. I don't know. Couldn't tell you. Might want to find out. But anyway, if that sounds interesting, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and if you want to make Allie a really happy person, sign up for notifications so that there's a little bell that goes off every time we post a video and you can go back and see whatever else we post. All right, guys, thanks a bunch. Let's get into it. Eviction moratorium extended. Ugh, hate that. All right, so here's what happened. The eviction ban was lifted on August 1st, and the eviction ban was extended through October 3rd, two days later. What does that mean for you as a landlord? Well, it means, unfortunately, you're gonna get screwed. In the state of California, uh, we are actually able to get our rent back from the government, and we have signed up for that program. And we have several cases pending, none of which have been paid. We've been approved for two for quite some time now and have not seen a penny. So we'll see where that goes. But that's just for the past and it'll go through, I don't even remember what it'll go through, but we'll see where that goes. Uh, I will keep you guys up to date on that. It does not stop evictions that were filed before this time. Whatever that means. I have no idea what that means because it's been a long time since we've been able to file an eviction. So if you were actually in, filed an eviction, what is it, a year ago or whatever, and the ban wasn't during that period of time, then you're probably your case will still go through. Um, if you were actually able to get it somewhere between the first and the third, fingers crossed, maybe it'll work, but I don't know. I would doubt it, but we'll see. I remember this. This is a federal thing. This came down from the president of the United States of America. He's the one that enacted this. So they can pretty much fudge those dates as much as they want to, in my opinion. How do you take advantage of this moratorium if uh, you can't or don't want to pay rent? And I understand there's people out there that cannot pay their rent right now, and that sucks. But that means I cannot pay my house payments. And that means I cannot pay my property taxes and I cannot pay your utilities. If you honestly can't pay your rent, these are the, this is the criteria that you have to use to prove that you can't. All right, so here it is. This is interesting. It's gotten very in. You have to have used your best efforts to obtain government assistance for housing. In other words, you have to go and file for section eight. You have to see if you can get some sort of assistance from the federal government, state government, a uh, local government, county, city, whatever. You have to have done that. Number two, you are unable to pay your full rent due to a substantial loss of income. Yes, I have also had a substantial loss of income this year due to people not paying rent. Think about this. It's so easy to say, hey guys, you don't have to pay your rent, okay? You get a pass. Collect 200 bucks or collect 2,000 bucks or 4,000 bucks. Go around the, go around the board game again. I, on the other hand, don't get that. I still have to pay all of the bills that come every month. I have to pay the utilities for people that aren't paying. I have to pay the payments for the people that aren't paying. I have to pay property taxes. All these other expenses just keep adding up and adding up. Look, I'm not crying. I got into this business and but that's my deal. That's my problem. What I'm bemoaning right now is the fact that the government can just like that say, hey guys, you don't have to pay anymore, uh, but you guys have to keep paying. They didn't ever say, hey, you don't have to pay your property tax. Not once did they say that. Keep that in mind, guys. The other one that is uh, a way to get out of paying rent right now is uh, you're making your best effort on timely partial payments of rent. That means I guess you're giving 20 bucks here, 100 bucks there, you're doing it, doing your best. The other one is you'll become homeless or have to move into a shared living setting if you were to be evicted. Hmm. I wonder what they mean by that. So if you have to move in with somebody into a perfectly good house, but you have to share it with another person, that's not good enough. Why back in the day, I remember when I was young and we lived to eight, 10, 12 people to a house so that we could afford to pay the rent. But anyway, so if you're going to become homeless or you have to go share a house with somebody, you're cool. The way they've written this, 
is as if you've got to qualify with all of these. So you might want to read more into it, but okay. Or, 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 and you reside in a U.S. county experiencing substantial or high rates of community transmission levels of COVID-19 as defined by the C CDC. As we are speaking, we're in an upswing right now. We're in an uptick. And so I would imagine there's not very many counties unless you live out in the middle of nowhere that aren't experiencing some sort of an uptick. So again, uh, there's a lot of ways that they've given to get out of this. So uh, paying rent. Let's move on, shall we? In addition to the above requirements, tenants must meet one of the following financial criteria to qualify for protection. A tenant must have earned no more than $100,000 a year or $200,000 a year if they're married. That's a lot of money. That's crazy, guys. A tenant must not have been required to report any income to the IRS in 2020 or have received an economic impact payment stimulus check pursuant to Section 2201 of the CARES Act, Section 9601 of the American Rescue Plan Act of 2021, or to any other similarly federally authorized payments made to individuals in 2021 and 2021. Huh, that's a typo. 2020 and 2021, I believe it is. So I think what they're saying here is if you got any stimulus checks, you have to have received some sort of economic impact payments. That's the way I'm reading it. So if you've gotten assistance, you qualify. If you haven't gotten assistance, you don't qualify. Correct me if I'm wrong. Guys, leave it in the comments down below. Just keeps getting better. Any government-backed loans, Fannie or Freddie, can't evict. So in other words, if you own a duplex and you've got a Fannie or a Freddie-backed loan, you can't evict. That's just off the table regardless. That has nothing to do with this moratorium. It's just a standard fact right now. You can't evict and you probably won't be able to for some time. So what does all this mean? All this means is that they're kicking the can down the road <clears throat> a little bit further. There's going to be a price to pay for this. We are actually allowing people to use the system as is happening to me and so many other people that I know allowing them to use the system to not pay rent, to not pay their bills because they don't have to because the government will take care of it for them. Yes, I know. To all the hate mail people out there, bring it on, bring it on. I, I'm sure you're going through hell right now too. But I love to read your mail. I love to read the ways that so many folks out there respond. I'm not talking about the investors, the people that are actually interested in real estate that, that are listening to this channel. I'm talking about the people that actually stumble upon this and go, oh my God, he's a landlord. I get people that actually tell me that it's immoral to rent a house out to somebody, that housing should be free. Much like whenever you walk into McDonald's or any other fast food joint, the food there should be free much like the gasoline in your car, much like the car that you drive and the clothing that you wear and the toilet paper you buy. That should all be free too. Everybody has a right to everything for free because that's the way society should work. Does that sound right? I don't think so. All right, guys, so this is where we're going. I want everyone to be very careful from here on out. When you talk about this, when you say, oh my God, they're just helping people. No, they're crippling. They're crippling people right now. They're taking people's rights away to actually go out and take care of themselves. We're creating a system right now where people don't have to take care of themselves. And it's a disservice to those people. The people that are getting free rent right now that can afford to pay it aren't going to be able to pay rent when it's time because they will have changed their lifestyle in such a way. They're not saving that money, guys. They're not saving that money. They're spending it. They're creating habits that are terrible right now. And when it comes time for this to end, they're not going to be able to catch up. Number one, number two, they're not going to be able to pay whatever they, whatever they've got to pay every month. All right. So in closing, by the way, guys, uh, I don't usually do videos like this, but this one really got me. We've kind of been on the edge on a few of our properties, uh, just in the last few months, just because of what's happening in California and the fact that they said they're going to pay rent. So I normally don't give my political opinions, and this is not by any stretch of political opinion. This is a human interest 
uh, video right now that needs to be talked about. And if people don't talk about this stuff right now, it's going to get worse and worse and worse. So everybody needs to rise up. And I don't care. Look, guys, if you're not paying your rent night right now because you can't afford to, you should be rising up too. Because the people that are taking advantage of these situations are making you look bad. Look, if you lost your job due to COVID, if you're still sick due to COVID and you can't pay your rent, I understand. But it's the people that are taking advantage of the situation right now, and there's a lot of them, a lot of them, that are really hurting you and everybody else. So keep that in mind. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please subscribe to the channel. Please hit the like button. Pound the crap out of it. If you're mad at me, hit it really hard. And if you agree with me, hit it even harder. Hit that like button and sign up for notifications for Allie's sake. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll talk to you next time. Hey guys, check out these two videos. They're really going to help you on your investment journey. I'm also on Instagram. Tons of great video content there. Really good stuff. Please subscribe. I'll see you next time.